Yo, yo, what's going on out there, fight world? It's your boy Money back with another one, fam. And this one here is on Earl the True Spence Jr., the king of the welterweight division, and Jerron Boots Ennis, one of the rising stars of the welterweight division. Now, a lot of people want to see this fight with Earl and Jerron Boots Ennis and Gilly the Kid. You know what I'm saying? He is one of them. So, you know, Earl and Gilly, they just betted on the Cowboys and the Eagles game, right? We know Earl um, is a big Cowboys fan. Gilly is a Philly fan. Earl told Gilly, hey, Gilly. Let's run that 10000 my nigga. I need that shit in cash. Don't wire me shit, right? But Gilly wants the Jerron Boots in his fight. Listen to him. How many times you been past the sixth round? Nine. Never. Because you know what he do? Ice n***a. Sure, right Arrow. Knock, knock. Who's there? Boots. Boots. You see, you see how Gilly's talking that shit? <laughs> Arrow, knock, knock. Who's there? Boots. Boots who? Jerron Boots Ennis. So Gilly want this. He want to see Earl fight Boots. He think Boots is the guy to take out um, EJ. We know um, Gilly and, and, and Yellow Bees, they went back and forth. Um, you know, on Gilly show about this situation, things of that nature. But this is not the first time, you know, Gilly, you know, approached Earl Spence for Jerron Boots Ennis. One time he approached him when they was on the phone, they was going back and forth and things of that nature, right? So we know when these dudes fight, right, because I feel like they're going to fight at 154, that EJ or Yellow, you know, they're going to bet Gilly a million bucks. I think Gilly going to try, you know, he worked a million dollars worth of game. I think he believe in Boots that much. I feel this is just my opinion, everybody. Don't go crazy. I feel like these dudes are going to bet big time, bro. Big time. Either half a meal or a whole ticket. Now, we know EJ ain't running from nothing. EJ ain't ducking nothing. We know EJ told that boy Boots, listen, be careful, boy. You might hook the wrong fish. You know what I'm saying? This is a fish right here you can't wheel in. This is a fish that snatch your ass in that ocean and, and, and drag your ass to the, to, the, to the bottom of that sea. You feel me? Drag it to the bottom. And, and, and drown you. So, you know, Earl, you know, he always gives Jerron Boots in his just doing his praises. Always talk about his skill set. You know what I mean? Let people know that that boy like that, right? He hungry. Um, he wants opportunities, you know, just like EJ was when he was coming up. EJ wanted his opportunities, you know what I'm saying? But he had to earn it. He knew it. He knew exactly what he had to do. And he went out there and did exactly what he needed to do to be right now the king of the welterweight division. Three scrap shawty. WC, IBF, and the Super WBA looking for that WBO. Now, Jerron Boots Ennis, man, like I said, it's a bad motherfucker, man. Hey, 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 hey. This a bad motherfucker, man. This boy got skills. This boy got speed. This boy got power. This boy got ring IQ. This boy got work ethic. This boy is H-U-N-G-R-Y. Matter of fact, I'm going to say this boy is capital H-U-N-G-R-Y. And he coming, man. He coming. He coming. One way or another, Jerron Boots Ennis will be a world champion at the welterweight division. You know what I mean? Like I say, he's not going to be able to fight Earl at the welterweight division because Earl on his way up. But when Earl relinquished them titles, right, when he dropped them things, Jerron Boots Ennis will get his opportunity to fight for a vacant title against some quality opponents to become a world champion. You got to respect that. Everybody know EJ on his way to um, 154, and, and that's just that. But that don't take the hunger away from Earl Spence neither. That don't take the hunger away from Earl Spence neither. So let's not get this shit misunderstood. misunderstood and, 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 you know, people like to come out here and make it like Earl is afraid to fight Jerron Boots Ennis. People saying things like, oh, man, we all know that, um, we all know that, you know, Boots is a real big threat to Earl. And, you know, Al Heyman don't want to put him in there with him because he feel like he'll beat him. You know, all this word shit. You know what I'm saying? A bunch of word shit that I, I'm not buying. You know what I mean? If Earl Spence... Um, felt like he wanted to stay at 147. That dude would fight anybody at 147. If you're in your position and put yourself right there to fight him, Earl Spence is going to fight you. You know what I'm saying? All he got to do is make business sense for EJ, bro. If it make business sense, then we all know what it is. You know what I'm saying? We all know what it is as long as it make business sense. Other than that, right, EJ, he, he, ain't, he ain't ducking nothing. He, he'll fight um, anybody they put in the ring with him. But, you know, with this fight being so big, um, especially in the future, man. If Jerron Boots Ennis continue to do what he do and, and go out there and live up to the hype like Earl Spence lived up to the hype, the tables always turn. The tables always turn. You feel me? Um, so, you know, a lot of people going to be betting on it, man. Just like the Earl Spence and the Terrence Boyd Crawford fight. And that's the fight that we pushing for. So, y'all, please don't get this misunderstood. Monty Brown not saying Jerron Boots Ennis is next or none of these things. I'm speaking on um, hypotheticals and I'm speaking on 
when this fight take place because i really feel like it's gonna take place at 154 how long jerron boots and is gonna be at 147 i can't say i know he's a big kid you know maybe want to be unified maybe want to be undisputed we will see how things play out for jerron boots in his career at 147 pounds but we know earl spence you know is, is on his way to 154 so when, when we're looking at the situation right when they do go out there and fight um it's gonna be a hell of a fight it's gonna be a hell of a fight man and, and experience for jerron boots in is what he need there's a lot of things that we don't know about boots yet you know what i mean what happened when he get up there in them championship rounds what happened when he get hit with a punch? What happened when you ain't the fastest, you ain't the strongest, you ain't the smartest? How do you adapt when you're facing the top-notch competition? Things of that nature, right? The things he's doing to these fighters, don't get me wrong, he's doing a hell of a job. But it's like he's supposed to do it to them. You know what I'm saying? Now, we know Custio Clayton and um, um, what's my other guy named? Sergey Lipernix. Um, you know, they, they, they cool fighters, but they're not the, the, the upper echelon. I mean, they're not the upper echelon. They're not the fights that people are going to look at and be like, oh, well, man, Boots beat the shit out of him, so this, that, and the third. So, you know, but Boots, he's ready to prove himself. You know, but when it comes to Earl, man, Earl is very proven. He fought the top of the top, the big dogs, faced adversity, went over um, to other people's countries, uh, fought other world champions. It's like he he's seen it all, man. He's seen it all. That's why we want Earl Spencer Turnsboy Crawford because, you know, they're the two top shotters right now. I still believe it's taking place. It's going to happen. But, you know, is nothing is never wrong with looking at you know the up and coming stars and placing them with the stars of today. You know what I'm saying? Like when Earl Spence was coming up, he wanted the Shines, the the the, the Keiths, the Dannys. He was right there on the Mercon and Devin um, Alexander um, undercard, letting them know that he was on his way coming. And you know Jerron Boost in is like in the same position, man. He's in the same position. So we know Gilly, right? Gilly, we will call him Philly Gilly because he fuck with Danny. He fuck with um. Um, Fulton, he fuck with Boots, he fuck with everything from Philly, man, everything from Philly, and this, this fight, he want the most, this fight, he want the most, he don't talk about turns, boy, Crawford and Boots, he don't talk about none of that shit, he talk about Earl Spence and Jerron Boots and it's because Gilly know, Gilly know, EJ is that guy, I'ma repeat, Gilly knows that EJ is that guy, just like everybody else know EJ is that guy, he's the king of the Westway division, and how do you become the king of the welterweight division? By trying to knock off the king of the welterweight division. And Jerron Boots Ennis, listen, he'll face turns Bud Crawford because he understand who Bud is. Bud is a bad motherfucker. This is no knock to Bud. But they look at Errol Spence as that guy, as the it factor. Like Javante Tank Davis is why, you know, everybody chasing Tank because Tank got that it factor. Earl Spence has that it factor. You know if you can be Earl, you can become a, 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 a star overnight. You can become a star overnight. You understand what I'm saying? Because Earl got all the hype. Has the bigger fan base. You know what I'm saying? He's doing the pay-per-view numbers. So, you know, it's, it's a no-brainer. It's a no-brainer when you look at the 147-pound division. Who people really want to face the most. Because you see who they lined up to face, man. They all lined up to face Earl Spence, man. They all want that Earl Spence smoke, man. You feel me? So, you know, everybody will get their time. Everybody will get their time. As long as they keep winning, as long as Earl Spence stand in, in the winner's seat doing what he got to do, stand on top, as long as they winning and stand on top, you know, it's going to happen, bro. It's going to happen. And it's going to be so much shit talk between Gilly, EJ, Yellow Beezy, you know, Philly and Dallas. And that's, that's crazy because we know they're in the same um, the same division, right, in the East, Philly and the Cowboys. And they ain't going to have Philly and the Cowboys going up against each other again with, with Earl Spence and Jerron Boots in his brother. And, and that's going to be a hell of a matchup. It's going to be a hell of a matchup, bro. One hell of a matchup. But like I say, everybody, don't get this shit twisted. Earl Spence and Terrence Bud Crawford for undisputed first at the welterweight division. That's the only fight Monty Brown is focusing on. That's the only fight Monty Brown won't. But this was too good to pass up, baby. It was too good to pass up because, like I said, I rock with Gilly and a million dollars worth of game. Y'all know EJ is my guy. I rock with Jerron Boots Ennis. I see. I see. You know what I'm saying? The, the stylistic matchup. And what type of bombshell that, that this fight will be when it takes place in the future. I know EJ go stay on this shit. Um, like, I really feel like this fight go go come to fruition, bro. It's like one of them fights that's inevitable. It's inevitable, you know what I mean? Like when Earl Spence want to keep Thurman. This ain't Earl Spence pulling no keep Thurman. They're just Earl Spence telling Boots, listen, earn your keeps. When you earn your keeps, then I'll see you. Just like he told Terrence Bill Crawford, once I get these three scraps, I'm coming to see your ass. And what he doing now? 
He's coming to see turns Bud Crawford ass and ain't no getting away from him. So the future will play out how it's supposed to play out. Um, Gilly, once EJ beat this boy, I want you to send him his bread. Matter of fact, fuck Warren. Like you say, pay him in cash, my G. Pay him in cash because y'all know I got EJ beating boots. But it's going to be a hell of a fight, man. I know a lot of y'all Philly boys going to be like, hey, Money B, this, that. I got EJ beat Boots, man. I'm standing with my guy. Flat out. But Boots a bad boy, man. I rock with Boots. I rock with his pops. I rock with his whole family. Shouts out to Boots, man. Keep doing your thing. Most definitely shouts out to EJ. Keep doing your thing. And we'll just see how it play out when it happens, man. Shouts out to Gilly as well, man. Love me and dollars worth the game. Y'all go tap in with it. And, you know, like I say, when this fight comes to fruition, pick a side because it's going down. And to the end, it's your boy Money. It's the NSBC moving and nobody's safe in these streets. Hit them thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you want to donate. OG Money on Cash App. Try to have to fit it to a gmail.com on PayPal. If not, just tell a friend. Tell a friend. Hit that subscribe button. Like, comment, share the videos. And y'all know how your boy get down, man. Big dog status, family.